Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Mighty Shot bringing you another Madden 18 defensive play video. I'm trying to pump these out because I know the community needs these right now, um, just in time for Madden 18's release. So if you're on my Patreon, you get to see this stuff first. Uh, if you're on regular YouTube. Uh, this probably came out a couple days uh, later, but basically uh, I'm trying to, to solve the biggest issue in my comment section, which is where's the defense, where's the defense, where's the blitz, where's the blitz. I found a couple of different uh, ones. This is probably the second one that I released. I have a third one that I still want to do. So if you guys want to see another defensive play video, make sure you hit the like button uh, like crazy because um, I know you guys want to see them. Uh, if you want to join my Patreon so you don't have to wait, link is in the description below. Uh, it's that simple. You guys get to see all my videos early if you're on Patreon, and I have a lot of exclusives on there too so make sure that um, that you join that if you're if you're not aware of that uh, it's a really easy setup like I said link in the box uh, below this video so other than that let's go and let's get into this defense this is a I call this a base defense but you typically have to uh, see a uh, three wide receiver set uh, to get its effectiveness. This is not, you know, this year they have the weak box system uh, where you basically have to match personnel or you get crushed on the run. So uh, this is not something you want to run unless you're seeing at least a three wide set. We'll go ahead and we'll pick this. this is, I'm using the Eagles playbook again, uh, but this is out of the double A gap. I think there's another formation that's very similar that's a different, might be called the double B gap or something like that. I'm not really sure, but uh, it has the same plays essentially. So if you have that playbook, make sure you check that out. The first play that I'm going to show is a real simple one. It's the nickel overload three at the bottom there. Uh, cover two this year, the nickel dog two, I put out last year and it was a monstrous blitz. Uh, but this cover two is not that great this year. It's just not. So uh, you don't want to, you know, that's not a, a, I have a video about that already. You might have seen it. But um, that's not really doing what it did last year. The cover three, I think, is better. Man coverage is way better this year. So we got a random gun here. Um, basically, this this is set up mostly like I want it to be already. I don't have to do a whole lot more. I like the look of this. This looks like a cover two or a cover four because your safeties are both back. If I show, um, if I base a line, uh, it'll change a little bit and give it away. Actually, it didn't it? Actually, went backwards there, um, which is weird. Uh, but I, I don't want to do that anyway. I want that that safety to stay down. He's you know he, he's important to cover that flat. So basically, it's real simple. All I got to do is either stand up Kendricks here, or I typically just for speed I'll hit R1 and then I'll hit zone all, and that'll basically give you a nice look right there. If I would have did the other way where I stand him up manually, I think he uh, actually has a different setup. You see here like now like Hicks here drops straight back uh, where. Um, where uh, Kendrick's here, he drops more this way. So I actually think it's best to just hit the zone all linebackers, which is RB, and then up on the right stick. And it just spaces them better. Um, so now I basically, because I'm going to be Hicks anyway, uh, or it's really my option. If I think that the need, if I think it's needed more over here, because there's two wide receivers over here, I can use this guy. But bottom line, whichever middle linebacker you use, you have to cover your area and then be aware and when you can let your receiver go and um, you know pass them off to the next zone. So whether you're covering with the left linebacker or the right linebacker, doesn't really matter. Just be aware of staying in your area and know when to pass them off to your other linebacker. Now, like I said, in this scenario, because I have the slot receiver, I probably would cover with Kendricks uh, because it's, there's more chance that the ball is going to go over here. So that's how I typically would do that. But that's the play. I mean, there's not a lot of, um, you know, you got good coverage. You'll get decent pressure from this cornerback here. Uh, I don't really have a great cornerback out there in Robinson, but you'll get good pressure from him. When I run again, run the play live, I'm probably going to put a faster cornerback out there or something. You want that that guy's going to get most of your pressures. You want to make sure you have a good cornerback there. Um, but that's it. That's that's the play. So let's go ahead and let's run this a couple times against the computer. I typically like covering to the slot side. You see there, we get some pretty good run defense there. You only get a yard or two. And sometimes, for some reason, when uh, Hicks is out, whenever they spread out like this, Hicks will be out, and then the defensive end will take over as one of the zones. I don't know why it does that, but it is what it is. I guess uh, Madden thinks that's the way to go. Oh, come on, man. Come back to the ball, Darby. Good coverage, though. Look, the, the computer will do that sometimes. If you get good pressure, they'll just lob it up to avoid the sack. Something that I noticed. Uh, once again, not a lot of lanes. He's only getting a yard or two. 
Yeah, if the if the if the linebacker starts out wide like that, it's just base in line, and no bring the play back to the way it's supposed to be. So that's what I did there. I don't like that look. Oh, we're jumping that really. Oh, thank you. At least we're knocking it out. I thought it was gonna be a pick. Thought that was gonna be a pick. I'm not getting a lot of picks out here. Computer's being very safe with that ball. Let's go. No yard. Zero. I like to do the outside, um, hit the triangle, and then do outside quite a bit because I don't find that they cover to the flats or to the outside of the field as well if you don't do that. So just something to think about. Oh, get that heat. Get that heat. Let's go. Brooks. Oh, I just totally got shook. And we get another say a sack by the safety. All right, let's get some work done. Let's do this. And, oh, man, the flats. The flats. He only got two yards there. That's not bad at all. I mean, that'll happen when you have uh, a defensive end covering the flats, but he still held that down pretty good. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it sucks having to wait now. I mean, I, pr I appreciate that the fact that oh, get him! Yeah, let's go, sack. This is a real simple setup. I mean, this is like the easiest setup in the world. Get him! Get him! Get him! Yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> well, this is like the easiest setup in the world because uh, all you're doing is, is zoning the linebackers, zoning all linebackers. I mean, you can run this in a, in a heartbeat. Man, you can have that flat, man. You can have that flat for a yard. It's all you, bro. Oh, we got that safety coming in free. Let's go. Like I said, this is a relatively good run-stopping play as well as it's a relatively good uh, pass defense blitz. As you can see, we're just shutting down the run right now. So let's go. Let's rock this once or twice more, and then I'll show you a uh, another variation. Oh wow, 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 let's get that sack, look at that sack, let's go. Not in this house. Not in this house, son. Well, that looked like it was in a really good run formation and we get our first pick, let's go. Alright, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna end on that. Maybe we can get a touchdown. Maybe nah. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, we'll go on and do the last little uh, last little setup here. Alright, so one more variation I want to show, and this is gonna be really quick because it's very similar. It's the nickel dog three. It's essentially uh, the same blitz, you just get more co more zone coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick that real quick, and then we'll go. Uh, we'll keep going random gun. Yeah, this play right here, it's essentially the same setup. All I'm gonna do is hit uh, zone all again. It's RB and up on zone all, and now you can see I have three. Um, you have three uh, center zones, which is just you know a little bit more coverage. I mean, I didn't really have too much of an issue covering the center zones myself. Uh, but this is if you have somebody that's just chucking the ball, irregardless of the pressure that's coming. If you, everybody has those jittery uh, players that are just quick to throw the ball, uh, whether they're in danger or not. So this is a good variation so that you have extra coverage in the middle. On top of that too, um, you could always uh, take this linebacker here, and you can man him to whoever you can man them on I don't know what type of offensive play this is that I thought I hit a random gun but it just looks like a random goal line but either way say you got a receiver or um, a, a tight end that's beating you now you have an extra man where you could basically you know say man them to somebody like uh, who the hell did I man them to I just man them to that guy to tie uh, which is not what I really meant to do but uh, let's say you want to man them to uh, I do it again yeah, I think I did. Let's say you want to man him to, you know, Ingram or something here. So this here now, you still have the exact same coverage in the middle. Um, you still have your same uh, setup, and now you get an extra guy for a man. Your, your pressure's not going to obviously be as good because it's only three guys, but you'll still get adequate pressure. So they're not going to be able to tell. They might be IDing the mic over here, which is uh, Brooks anyway. Uh, it's going to look like the same play, but you're getting way better coverage. So it's just a simple variation. So that's it. I got one more defensive play bit. If you guys want to see that, hit the like button and I'll put that out next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moish it out. Hey, you made it to the end of the video, which means either you like the content you're watching or you fell asleep halfway through. Either way, if you hit the subscribe button, you can catch all my videos now releasing daily. Thanks for watching.
Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.